big game. It has a lot of implications, but it's not life life or death. Sun comes up tomorrow. We move on. We, we see what that brings. We just got to enjoy it, right? You know, this is what you play these games for. Fun game tonight to play, for sure. Uh, it's everything you ask for. We've, uh, we've asked the fans to uh, show up to it and be at another level this year, and they've done that more than we could uh, can even ask for. And, uh, after doing that and us doing our part by winning a lot of home games as well. It's time to put it both together when it matters the most. Good test for our guys, our organization, and like I said, this, we wanted to be playing meaningful basketball at the end of the season, and we're doing that. And um, we get to learn and put it into play as we move forward. All right, 8.30 game tonight. Let's go, let's go. Hey. We gotta have fun tonight. It's not a life and death situation, but if you don't play it like it is, it's not very meaningful. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. It's been really interesting to watch how these guys have come together throughout the season. There is a different kind of a substance to this group than most Timberwolves teams we've been used to watching over the last 20 years almost. I mean, you know, a lot of the individual agendas, a lot of the egos, a lot of those things that can often get in the way of even really good NBA teams. We haven't seen a whole lot of that this year. We've seen a team that I think understands how much they need each other to play well. Anything that they do is going to be a result of not just one player, not just two players, but the whole collective group. And that sounds kind of cliche and it sounds you know, kind of generic, but I think that's really the reality of this team. And I do think that is also why you've seen Target Center really come alive over the last four or five months is that it really resonates with fans. It feels a lot more real. It feels more sustainable that this is a team that likes each other, that wants to play for each other. All of those vibes are kind of trickling up into the building and you're seeing it really resonate with wins and you're seeing it resonate just in terms of the sheer volume here at Target Center. Timberwolves and Clippers win and you're in. That's what this packed house has come to see here tonight on a Tuesday evening from downtown Minneapolis. Target set of the venue, another sold out crowd. The atmosphere electric during tonight's starting lineups for this play in game between the 46 and 36 Timberwolves, the 42 and 20 LA Clippers. So the environment is gonna be absolutely jumping. It's gonna be Really, really fun to watch. Now to Russell, he moved around the horn, deep three, left side, and online and on target. What a fantastic start for Anthony Edwards. He's three for three shooting, and that's a great sign for Minnesota. McDaniels, deep three on the way, is good at the buzzer. Timberwolves down by seven, Edwards up top, pulls up on the three, got it again, back-to-back -back three. Steps through, up over Zobots, oh, what a finish by Ant, the hang and the hit. Kick out right side, Beasley, catch and shoot, three is there. Dino off the high screen by Vanderbilt, into the paint, runs it up with left hand, count and the foul! Big time shot by Dilo. Eight to shoot, he starts to move off a of Vando screen. Dilo will pop on a three and stroke it! Nine straight points from D'Angelo Russell, the Timberwolves lead the Clippers by five. Towns now with it, into the paint, he's in rhythm. Dishes off, Vando rises and hammers. Three ball on the way, missed it short. Towns offensive rebound, put back, oh yeah! This thing is getting good. Nas Reed, cross court pass, Beasley, corner three on the way. Got it to end the third. Off the inbound, Nas Reed with it up top. This would be big, yes! Left hand, a dribble in the lane, runs it up. On the front rim, a wood cut. Nas with the offensive rebound, the put back, yeah! Dino up into the front court, pulls up on the three, and hits it! The Timberwolves are in front! 97-95, and with it, left alone, drives to the bucket, and stuffed it through with the right hand! And step back, left angle, three on its way. Oh, it's on line, and nothing but net! Pat reached in, poked the ball free, and got in the front court. The horn will sound, and for just the second time in the last 18 years, 
The Timberwolves are headed to the postseason. They clinch the seventh seed, and they're headed to Memphis. Anthony Edwards, Patrick Beverly up on the scorer's table. They are pumped up. Chris Finch has talked a lot about this just being step one in their journey together. And you really do feel like this is a group with a core that can grow together for more years and stay together and take steps and win in real strong position. Hey, hold up. So proud of you. Yes. Hey, hold on. Enjoy tonight. Family on three, man. One, two, three. Family. Real fun begins, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, I mean, it was incredible. Walking out there for the jump ball, you can just tell that it was going to be an electric night. The crowd was into it from the jump. They spurred us on when we were down a bit. You know, we made great, great plays that brought them to life. You know, we got great energy around here, and this is, this is great for us because now we can keep learning what we need to do to keep growing our successes. Coach of the year. Coach of the year. No cap. Another goal scratched off. I told you it was going to the playoffs. Everybody, mostly all y'all looked at me like I was crazy. When I first said that, I told y'all. Sometimes we may go too hard, but it's no such thing. And we lie. And we lie. <laughs> hey, what's up? Don't yeah, do, don't like do that. that. We're, we're just going to the playoffs. We're going to the playoffs. Don't do like that. Yeah.